like to call to order the Monday, May 23rd, 2022 Parks and Recreation Advisory Board meeting. If you all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. To the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, roll call Sherry. Sherry Butler. <laughs> Kyler Cox. Ashley Pasquale. Here. Guy Reynolds. Here. Todd Taylor. Scott Welty. Here. Natalie Strader. Here. And Council Member Michelle Lynn is excused. All right. Um, right now, call to the public if anybody would like to speak to the board. You're more than welcome to come up to the podium and do so. Um, if due to it not being an agenda item, we cannot comment on, on it at this time. Okay. Minutes. Can we get approval of the minutes for February 28th, 2022? Uh, Chair, I motion. In a second. A second. All right. Aye. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. All right. Communications announcements, staff report. Mr. Keene. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Summer camp will be held um, starting May 31st at Smoke Tree in Oregon, Oro Grande. Both camps are full at this time. We were able to accept 350 participants. Adventure camp will begin in June, and that camp is also full. Summer aquatics programming will begin on June 6th, and there is still limited space available in some of those programs. The community center, there's many private rentals throughout the month of June. Uh, open pickleball and basketball will be happening as well. Please visit the city website at www.lhcaz for the June schedules. Um, this is the time of year where we have many, many, many park uh, reservations just due to the weather being perfect. Uh, so the pavilions are rented out most weekends. On April 29th was the 150th anniversary of Ar Arbor Day. Uh, Starline Elementary School helped plant 30 trees at the Island Ball Field. A big special thank you goes out to Air Control for their generous donation to fund that event. Last Saturday, May 21st, was National Kids to Park Day. We celebrated with an outdoor movie at Rotary Park. We played the Goofy movie. A big special thank you to Anderson Automotive Group for setting up the movie screen and bringing their projector out. That concludes my presentation. I'll ask and answer any questions. All right. Anybody have any questions, Mr. Keene? Ashley? No questions, but thanks for asking. All right. Didn't want to forget about you. All right. And then public hearing, Mr. Keene again. Okay, so tonight throughout our public hearings, we have uh, several uh, presentations and discussions regarding a few projects that we have coming up uh, over the next year or so. Um, the first one we'll start with is the Downtown Catalyst Project. This is just our, our standing update. Um, we did receive the 30% 30, 30 design submittals from Dig Studios. Uh, they're currently working on the 60% documents. The geotechnical report has also been completed. Uh, and as designs continue, we're looking for other ways, um, some different material costs that they could uh, switch out, um, possibly some uh, different grading of the, the parcel itself and, and being able to um, keep some of that uh, material on site versus trucking it away. Uh, or, you know, if there's some different ways that the city might be able to uh, dispose of that material easier than, uh, than hiring a company to do so. Uh, and then we're also looking into some other funding opportunities, whether that be through grants or donations uh, to help help with that project. So that's kind of my update for 
uh, the Downtown Catalyst Project. With that, I'll take any questions. Anybody have any questions for Mr. King? Ashley? Sure, Mr. Keene, what is the timeline for this? I know there was some amount of discussion and maybe not full agreement at city council. So what, what are the next steps in the timeline? Yeah, we still expect to have the designs finished uh, in late fall. And then um, we'll take those, depending on, on kind of how the, the funding goes and, and you know what we're able to package together, uh, we'll take back to council uh, in probably January or February as we get ready for gear up for the budget going into 23-24. So um, there, there is the, the ABC dollars still in this year's CIP, but that really will be pushed back to, to next year's CIP by the time we get the plans finished and, and be able to come up with the full program of what that's going to look like. So construction wouldn't start until at the earliest uh, the 23-24 fiscal year. Uh, Mr. Chair, yes, uh, Director Keene, um, as the Catalyst project moves forward and you, you uh, start preparing for your next budget, I think it would be a great idea for us to have some type of operation staffing, um, the possibility of a type of revenue or, you know, uh, amenities that could be rented, you know, um, some way to show that, you know, we're going to try to recoup some of the costs and availability and, you know, what, what the amenities that are going to be there. Certainly, we can put that together as well um, as we define that project a little bit more and exactly what those amenities will be. It's a good idea. If we can get something back out of it, it'd be nice. Anybody else? And with it being opened, anybody from the public care to comment on the downtown, downtown Catalyst project? Okay, moving on, presentation to discuss Aquatic Center HVAC project update. Okay, so the HVAC project uh, for the Aquatic Center, um, the design of the project is complete. Uh, the project is out uh, to bid and the bids are due back on June 15th at 3 p.m. The project includes HVAC units for the natatorium, including dehumidification systems and upgrade to the air handling units in the chemical storage areas. The project is completely budgeted in the 2022-2023 CIP budget. Um, so once the, the bids come in and evaluation of that uh, and a um, firm is selected, uh, we hope to get that project underway um, late fall, early winter uh, next year. Um, and that kind of concludes my, my presentation on the HVAC project. All right. Ashley, have anything? Maybe just a clarification. It'll, will it be of this year, early winter of 22, since it's in this year's budget, or this next year's budget? Yes, early winter of 2022, 2023. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chair, yes. uh, Director Queen, Queen, have you gone out for any uh, bids at all for this yet? It's on the street right now. They will close on June 15th, and so we'll get those bids at that time. Um, they are sealed bids because of the dollar figure. Okay, anybody else? Okay, moving right along. <laughs> anybody from the public have anything to comment about the HVAC? All right. So then next we'll have uh, Pickleball Court Expansion Project Update. Okay. So the uh, last four of the pickleball courts that were originally designed at Dick Sant Park um, the design is complete and the project is also out to bid and those bids are due back on June 15th as well. Um, again, this is being funded completely through a generous donation uh, 
by one of by an anonymous donor, uh, one of the pickleball players here in Havasu, uh, and we are in conversation with him of um, you know with the bids, and as they come back, we'll we'll sit down with him and and uh, and discuss that he has. Uh, stated that if the bids do come over the amount that he has uh, already uh, donated to the city, that he would fund the difference. So. Yeah, and that's great that they're contributing so much to the project and the park and everything. That's that's awesome. Good to good to see that. Does anybody else have any comments or questions for Mr. Keene on this? And with it being open to the public, Mr. Carr, step on up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Doug Carr. Uh, Mike, was there any talk about lights with the new ones or has the city thought about where they're gonna put lights? Um, in the bid uh, documents, there is an add alternate, so the, the, the request will come in, um, and so we'll be able to see what uh, what some of those dollar figures will look like okay. um, for the lighting of those four. Yeah, because the uh, association has kind of gave a verbal that we will donate more money towards lights uh, for Dick Samp. And then, uh, you know, when this project will be done, and hopefully not five years, but... Uh, you know, they're working, the city's working on the parking lot now. Uh, you know, the association will probably almost be a, a half a million dollars donated wow. to the city by the time this project is done. So, that's, anyway, so. That's awesome. Any, any questions for me, Scott? <laughs> I don't. I just, uh, hopefully, I you get, it sounds like you might be getting closer to your lights, though, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've been fighting for that for years. Yes, you have. Uh, yes. And uh, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, it's you know been uh, a pleasure. Thank you. You know to have you back there, and uh, yeah. I think we're losing. I don't know if we're losing Ashley or not. If we are, thank you also, Ashley. Uh, so, anyways, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Did you have anything on this before we close it out? Ashley, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Sorry about that. That's okay. Did you have any questions on the pickleball court expansion project? No, that's amazing. The donation. All right. Then, if that closing out that, we will move on to Rotary Park Ramada B Playground Surfacing Project. Mr. King. So one, uh, another project that we will be working on is the replacement of the soft safety play surface uh, in the playground around Ramada B at Rotary Community Park. Uh, the surface is deteriorating greatly, coming up in parts. Um, and needs to be replaced. We have received a quote uh, through a state contract with Exerplay in the amount of $92,000. Uh, and with that, uh, we are also applying for a grant from the Fiesta Bowl Charities to cover half of that project. Um, the, the soft safety surfacing provides some fall protection for users of the playground, as well as accessibility for strollers and wheelchairs uh, into that playground area. Um, these items will be coming to council uh, in the next few weeks. So I just wanted, or the grant application will be coming in the next few weeks. And then we're going to wait and see if we've been awarded that a grant, um, which should be by August. And then we would uh, be able to move forward on that project. Okay. With that, I'll take any questions. And we have grants in line for something like this or? Do we have the or the grant? We already know that we can get the grant, or we've applied for it. We'll see in, okay. in August if we we're a recipient. Okay. Mr. Chair, Director yes. Keene, um, do you have the full amount set aside for this year? We do. If we do not receive the grant, we will continue okay. with the project. Very good. Thank you. Ashley, you have anything on this?
All right. Again, with this being a call to or uh, being open to the public, anybody in the audience care to speak on the playground resurfacing project at Rotary? Okay. I think that is a no. If it, nobody else has any questions up here. Okay. Future discussion items. Anybody have anything they would like to discuss in upcoming meetings? All right. And then we'll move us on then to future meetings, Sherry. Okay, future meeting dates will be Monday, June 27th and Monday, July 25th. All right, and here tentatively 6 p.m. Okay. And with that, I'll take motions to adjourn. And if I can get a second. Gotcha. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Okay. Any opposed? All right. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>